Well, hello, friends. Welcome to uh, Quarantine Talk, I suppose. Uh, I'm trying something new here since I don't have the commute, but still have the car, so I can go here and talk for a moment. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, so today, Elise writes in asking about Serenity being a POSIX-like operating system. And what is the reason for that? Uh, is it because I think POSIX makes sense or is it because um, of the software compatibility or, or what? And I think that's a really good question. So thank you, Elise, for asking. Um, the main reason that Serenity is uh, POSIX-ish is because I'm a big fan of Unix. Uh, I always have been ever since I first learned about it from uh, Jurassic Park <laughs> uh, when I was a kid. And I, I always, ever since then, I always thought Unix was like the cool system. And I was always sort of looking up to it. Even, even before I ever tried it in person, I uh, somehow associated it with coolness. And that feeling has never really left me. Like I always, I still think that Unix is really cool. And um, for Serenity, um, when I decided to build a new operating system, uh, I wanted to build something that I love, that I care about, that I want to use as my own uh, personal system every day. So it was obvious that it had to be a Unix system. Um, but there are some big benefits to it too, right? Like the software compatibility is a fantastic benefit because if you look in the ports tree uh, in Serenity right now, you'll find a lot of ports. And the, the reason that those are um, possible in the first place and that they were so easy is because of POSIX, right? Um, like we have things like GCC um, and the bin utils and Vim and, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff. We have Doom, Quake, and um, and the SDL library, which, you know, enables lots of other things. And all of this is possible because of POSIX. Um, it would certainly be possible to port stuff even if we were not POSIX, but it just makes it that much easier. And I do love Unix, and I think it's a really good abstraction layer. I think it's, it's, it's just, just right. And I know that some people uh, have various complaints about Unix. I have complaints about Unix too. That's a whole other video. But I think it's, it's good enough and it's, it solves the operating system kernel um, problems in a way that I think is good. Um, and for the things that are missing from Unix or POSIX, we can just add. So we add extensions on top. We already have stuff like purgeable memory and you know, various syscalls and flags and stuff that, that we need for, uh, to implement Serenity's features. Um, so it's, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, Unix plus stuff, but I am very happy with it. Um, and of course, a lot of people, when it comes to operating systems, a lot of people imagine that if they were to build a new operating system, they would do something differently, right? Like some pet peeve that they have about uh, whatever system they're using today. People think that, oh, if I were to build a new operating system, I would do this differently. I wouldn't make this stupid abstraction in my system. I would solve it in a more elegant way. And um, it's deceptively easy to come up with ideas like that, things that you, you would do differently. But um, it's usually just ideas, right? Um, what matters is, is actually implementing something. So... Um, since, since I'm implementing an operating system, I'm, I'm choosing it to do in a way that I like. And if, if you wanted to do something differently, you can just go and build, build a system the way that you like. It's, it's really not as hard as you might think. So uh, I would be very happy if people were to experiment more with these ideas instead of just talk about them. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Unix. And... Um, it's important also to keep in mind that with Serenity, uh, Unix is just one layer, right? It's like at the bottom of a quite tall stack already because um, many operating systems uh, today are really just like a kernel and a bunch of user space utilities. Uh, sometimes even just a kernel like Linux, people call Linux an operating system, or some people do anyway, and it's really just a kernel, right? 
And Serenity takes a very tall, vertical um, approach to operating system development. And we go all the way from, from kernel all the way up to like um, high-level desktop applications and web browsers and things like that. And uh, in that picture, the Unix layer is like just this thing at the bottom. And I think it's a very, very, um, very good layer to have underneath you. And it's, it's well understood and you can reason about it based on like decades of experience. And, um, yeah. Plus there's just something about, just something about Unix, man. <laughs> I just like it. Um, so I hope that answers the question. Um, and yeah, like I said, whenever there's something that's missing in POSIX, then we can just add it. So it's not like we're limiting ourselves to do specifically only the things that are mentioned in POSIX, but um, there's there's room to grow in every direction. So I, I, I kind of think of POSIX as a guide for how to, to build your base system rather than dogma. It's more like a guideline. And it's a very good guideline, but it's still just a guideline. Uh, yeah. So anyways... Uh, it is pretty weird out there in the world right now, so it's really good to have uh, interesting software projects at, at a time like this. I hope that everyone is keeping busy doing something um, stimulating, something that um, keeps you learning, keeps you, your curiosity satiated, um, and I'm very grateful for everyone uh, coming along from with my weird software project and uh, hanging out while I work on it. It's really cool. Um, and I hope that everything is going to be all right with everybody. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I am a fan of humanity, so I hope that we come out of this one all right. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.